Hello and welcome to the show. Um, today's plan is to create a new entity for the game Quake 2. Mm. Hot. And yeah, I, I spent last, like the last couple of days um, trying to get this done. And in today's stream, I kind of want to sum up what I've learned about um, yeah, entity creation for Quake 2. Um, and I will go through the setup, how to um, yeah, get the source code compiled on Windows 10 and get all the tools uh, we need uh, for modeling, uh, for making a, like a very tiny, uh, quick um, Quake 2 map using trench broom and also uh, just creating the model for the entity um, in Blender. So the type of entity I want to I want to create is a pickup item. It's like a health pack you see running around. There's a health pack um, lying on the floor. You walk over it. The pickup item disappears if you're below 100% health and you get whatever whatever health the um, health pack will give you. Like a small health pack, for example, will only give you 25 uh, points of health. Uh, whereas uh, there is a, I think a mega health um, entity that will boost your health up to 200 health points. So your max maximum health increases actually for, for a while. So let's get started. Um, bring up the main screen here. So of course, the first thing we're going to need is the actual Quake 2 engine. <clears throat> and we have to go into the source code. Otherwise, uh, Quake 2 uh, cannot know about the entity we create, right? So uh, in Quake 1, in the first Quake engine, there was something called Quake C. And I'm not too familiar with Quake 1 actually, but the way it worked is um, to get new game logic into the game or like new behavior of monsters or whatever, you had um, only Quake C to do this. And it's kind of a, as far as I know, a subset of C or yeah, not, not a subset. Uh, that's actually probably incorrect, but a um, syntax, um, it has a syntax like C or similar to C and it would, you, um, it would allow modders uh, allow to create new stuff for the game. Um, in Quake 2, Quake C disappeared and the whole architecture was kind of, um, maybe the correct word would be kind of split up into modules. So in Quake 1, you had one EXF, exe file, one executable, you started and the whole like the renderer, the game logic, and the core engine were all compiled into one binary. Um, whereas in Quake 2, the whole things are split, um, the engine is split up into several components. So there's the core engine, which is the executable, the user starts when you click on Quake 2, the core engine starts, and then during runtime, it loads the components um, the user actually specifies. So for example, you could choose a renderer, like the software renderer, and it's kind of just a DLL, um, a dynamic link library. And so it would load during runtime and you would get the software renderer. Whereas if you specify in the config file, you want to use OpenGL, you could just type that in into the config uh, and 
and then it would load the OpenGL renderer, right? And the same with uh, 3DFX, PowerVR, and whatnot. Um, so, the good thing about this is that for modding, you have more options. You have the whole source code, not of the core engine, but of the DLL actually, and you could, you had more power to modify the behavior of the game, basically. I hope I explained this um, correctly and uh, so it's understandable. Um, so yeah, you can just get the source code here, right? Um, that's what we do now. So we go into repositories. Then clone it or we fork it, whatever. Oh, I already, I already have this here. One second. Um, I thought I deleted it earlier. This is from a test. Let me um, make a new one actually. All right. Um, so now we have Quake 2. The whole source code and we can compile it. So this is a visual uh, C++ 6 project as you can see originally. So um, I think this is actually the workspace file that we can open in Visual Studio. I'm going to use Visual Studio 2017 here. Um, and it will do a one-way upgrade. Sounds, sounds good. Right. Okay. So here you can see, and it's the Solution Explorer, the components I was talking about earlier. Quake 2 is the actual executable. If you go into properties, you can see it's an exe, right? It's, a, it's the executable. So this is the only project that's actually runnable. So then we have refresh GL, that's the open GL renderer, and that's just an EL, DLL, right? Same with the software renderer. And here game is also in DLL, uh, DLL. And this is the game logic, if you will. And this is the, uh, the parts of this uh, component um, we actually need to modify later to get the entity into the game. And this is CTF, I think this stands for capture the flag. And it's basically, as far as I know, it's just also game, just um, the logic for capture the flag, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, it's just, I believe it is that. I've never actually looked into the code uh, of that specifically. So what we do, um, we built that, or try to build that. And here we can see this um, error, this incom actually incompatible options. So I believe if you set ZI, which uh, is uh, compile flag for debugging purposes, uh, which allows you to um, edit the code during debug and then uh, continue and just without recompilation as far as I know. Um, but there is actually, uh, let me bring up the show notes. Um, I have a link here because I always have to Google that. Let's go back to the browser and just paste that here. These are all the options for the compiler. Um, so G, Y. Um, uh, 
uh, zi is the one we just talked about. Zi. Okay, now this is in German. Let's put this to English. Symbol names, functions, are variables, type information, and line locations. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So, but these are incom incompatible actually. Um, the z uh, z i and the minus uh, the g y minus uh, g the minus stands for deactivate. So we go into the properties, and now I hope I can find the options. I always have to kind of dig my way through this whole. Um, uh, all options is good. So we set this enable function level linking uh, to GY and go to apply and then rebuild this. Mm. Okay, that worked. Um, actually, and now do this as well for um, the core engine and ref gl as well um, okay compile compile link and do everything we need hopefully this builds now yep okay Okay, also works. So now we need to make this the active uh, or the startup project and we should be able to run it. Okay, so the game runs or the executable starts, which is good, but we get this error message. So when we downloaded the source code, right, uh, from its software, it comes with all the components that shipped with the original games, uh, with the original game, but it's just the source code. It's not the actual content of the game. No graphics, no models, no nothing. That part we need to get from an actual um, copy of the game. Um, but actually, so, you could get these from either the Steam version, original CD, uh, GOG version, or um, there should be um, some. <laughs> there, so, there should be uh, a shareware version on the internet that is uh, freely available, and this is actually all we need. But I have um, an install of the GOG version of Quake 2 here and what you find here is the base Quake 2 directory and we need to copy that over to our source repository we just cloned right so if you see here we also have the base Quake 2 we have just the save folder and I'm wondering what these sa saves are actually because we haven't saved anything but that's probably just some default stuff and the config file I talked about earlier, when you where you can actually see, uh, let's actually go in there for a minute. Um, let's see, so these are like key bindings, and also you can set the renderer uh, that should be used. Um, so I think maybe this is under refresh or render or GL, something with GL. Uh, sorry, the phone is going, um, the background. Um, GL driver, OpenGL32. Um, I thought this actually was, um, the name would be different. The last time I edited this, it didn't, was GL32. Um, Uh, 
Uh, regardless, it's somewhere in there. <laughs> so, okay. But what we actually need to do is take the base quake 2 and this is actually all the stuff um, that ships with the original game. This is the content I was talking about. So and if we actually look in there, there's a tool called Pack, Pack Explorer and I will get uh, into that in a minute. Um, where we actually, what we need, the color map PS, uh, PCX is in the Pack 0 file. Um, oh, actually that doesn't work. It's a quite old tool. Uh, luckily it still uh, works. So let's see, picks, and there should be something, yeah, color map PCX, right? And we need that to start the actual game. So what do we do? We copy, control C, uh, control V, overwrite everything, even the config. I hope this will work. <laughs> so, and then also we want to actually delete the, this DLL and this DLL comes from the game, the game project. So when we compile this, it will also create, if we check the explorer, um, go to debug probably, and I don't know where it puts the, whoops, where it puts the DLL actually. But it should create also, uh, let me check, maybe it's here. So this is the executable. <laughs> Game, this is the lib, ah, here it is. Yeah, that's the one we just wrote, right? When we compile game, the game project. And we actually, need to get rid of um, this DLL because then it will always use this one. And <laughs> I was banging my head against the wall because uh, I didn't realize I had this in there and I was compiling my stuff and nothing worked. So we got rid of this, we don't need that, right? We make our own one. Okay, so. Now we actually try to run that. All right, um, let's go to video and maybe crank up the resolution and we don't want to be full screen. Okay. Alright, so now we could also just start the game, right? So this is running our, like, our own version, so to speak, of Quake 2 that we compiled, which is quite cool. And you can see that was fairly easy to do, right? And the source code is, like, it's quite old. This game was released in 97 or 98, I think 97. So the fact that we can still compile it on a modern installation of uh, Windows, um, I think is, is quite cool. So runs without any issues. We can do now anything we want. Um, 